beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about who will you marry, who is your future spouse. Now I believe I've already recorded this reading like a month ago but it was a water scrying reading and one of you guys has, yeah, <laughs> you know, emailed me quite a lot of times if I could, you know, make a pick a card version and yeah, I thought today I would make this happen for you. So if you're watching, this is for you. And yeah, my dear. So as always, I have three piles that you can choose from. And for pile one, we got the beautiful card of the star. I will bring it a little bit more close so you can see the card. This is going to be pile one, the star card. For pile two, we got the sun. This is the sun part. And for pile three, we got the beautiful card of the high priestess. So as always, my dear, feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. As always, you will find the timestamps in the description box, but also in the comment section. And if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And also, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so that everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So what we're going to do first is... I would like to change it up a little bit today and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you one or two major arcana, okay? And we're going to look into um, the archetype of your future spouse. So we first going to start with, you know, what's their archetype, um, how or which major arcanas are really soothing this person at this particular time you're watching this in the present moment. So where in life are they? Um, yeah, which major arcana is, yeah, representing them. So let's see, for my dear pile one, which major arcana is representing your future spouse? So my dear pile one, who will you marry? All right, that's enough. So let's see, for my dear pile one, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? All right, great. So we got the fool card. First of all, let me get you another card. For my dear pile one, who is your future spouse? Who will you marry? Okay, one card fell. Let me see. All right. And you got the strength card. Look at that. There is so much like yellow in this picture, like um, in both cards. All right. So very interesting um, mix here. So. At this particular time you're watching this, let's look into your future spouse's energy. So who is this person? First of all, I definitely feel like this person um, right now has kind of like what I feel if I had to predict like kind of in a picture, um, I would say they opened um, the door for themselves. So this person um, after kind of um, a period of maybe... Um, not like not changing a lot or being um you know in the nine to five and everything or like a little bit of stagnant energy they kind of have reawakened in a way um in which right now it's all about experiencing life you know um as an example this person could be someone who works a lot right and then um right now they have um yeah they've taken some time off in which they can really um devoted towards themselves you know this person at heart they are the fool so um they are 
super open-minded you know they have this thirst for experiences to experience life you know in every way possible and they really believe in the goodness of life this is an optimist and right now they're really um stepping into this side of themselves because again it could be the case that for quite some time they have worked a lot and um it has taken a lot of energy from them but right now as we speak this person is kind of um you know creating an opportunity for themselves in which they can explore again as an example take um take some days off or um get a vacation you know they are really stepping back into their um more light heart like light-hearted side um but i do feel that this person has a lot of responsibilities you know whether it be work related or like it doesn't matter in any way possible through maybe it could be even family or you know it could be anything i don't want to label it because um i'm not getting specific messages of what this is so i don't want to um you know say anything but coming back this person definitely um they're also someone who's very adventurous so if some of you guys are watching this and you would like to have a spouse who is open-minded you know is um ready for new things spontaneous as well and just someone who will kind of push you that this is the kind of person in fact i do feel that for some of you guys this person could be um helping you to get out of your comfort zone you know it almost feels like this is someone who will not challenge um but influence you in a good way that you will want to experience more in life you know you will get out of your bubble out of this comfort zone that you have made for yourself and then you will be like wow there is really more to life than only this like comfort zone that i've created for myself and i did not like step out you know and they're gonna make you kind of see the bigger picture so there is this emphasis here on um like when you and your future spouse come together and you are um you know, you're living with each other and you're a couple i feel like they're gonna show you a lot of new things new places new things and just in general you know the full card is the number zero it's also the first major arcana um it's the card that the yeah you know the tarot cards start with and um what i'm hearing is that when they come into your life or no not when they come into your life when you get official with them when you marry them when you guys are seeing eye to eye and you are sharing each other like you're sharing your life with each other something in your life will kind of reset could be a location maybe you will move oh my goodness i just saw 555 so yeah this reset will be a change uh, of some sort a transformation again could be maybe a change in location or maybe even in job you know maybe someone is watching this and um you will either start a new job um because you will like as an example relocate or maybe someone will stop working because they would like to you know do something creative or just stop working um it doesn't matter but it there is just this energy of someone resetting something but in a way that's good for you so it's not kind of a forced change that is unwanted or is like well that sounds weird but it's kind of against your free will um no this is something you will do for yourself like you will um kind of say yes to because there needs to be some kind of like um be like you need to do it as an example if you change location with this person you need to change your career maybe or some kind of job related thing because you won't stay in the same city okay this is just an example um i'm not saying that this will be the case but of, i mean of course for some it could be but this is just so i can explain myself you know also let me tell you that this is a very loyal person as well um i feel like you know um this is not supposed to sound like creepy or anything like that but um i just heard they're gonna be your shadow you know the same way um 
like we can always you know we always know when we step into the light like somewhere we will see our shadow like it's just always there this is the kind of energy that i'm also seeing here um that this person will be your shadow you know they're very loyal and they will maybe this is kind of like a metaphorical um yeah picture to symbolize how supportive they are right because I mean, our shadow will never leave us, right? That's not possible. And what I'm seeing is that it almost feels like that's the same energy that comes with your future spouse. Like this is the kind of person who um, who's very faithful, very loyal. Uh, maybe someone watching this. I feel like for some reason this is very important for someone who's right now watching this. Whether maybe because you have trust issues or... Maybe some people have literally had some um, experiences in which they, well, experience betrayal, right? And when we experience something like that, such a thing becomes even more important, right? So this is what I'm seeing. And, you know, even if this is someone who, um, like, no matter this person's age, I feel like they look very young, like... Um, like how should I say it? Um, even if this person, as an example, is of of a certain age, they could still look younger than they are. You know, this is how I would describe it, perhaps. Yeah, because with the full card, the full card, um, and this rose, like the, this rose normally stands for kind of innocence and purity of like maybe even naive. You know, a little bit when it comes to them, maybe a little bit shadow side of the full card. But that's not what I'm getting. It's more so this, yeah, this very young person. But I mean, it again, it doesn't have to be that they are actually young. Although, of course, for some they could be. But this is more so their energy, right? We're looking into this person's energy right here. Yeah. So let me see. Now, what I'm also hearing is that um, it could be the case that you... Um, It could be the case that at first, when you get to know this person, um, you won't even know how much this person has already experienced. And um, either because this person is very young and for their age, they have already experienced a lot when it comes to life, or um, they just don't look like it. You know, they could look like someone who, um, who seems so carefree, but in a good way. Um, and kind of so yeah just so optimistic and you may not even realize how heartache like how um yeah how pain how much pain this person could have experienced at one point in their life so this is not someone who, who um whose heart got like or you know turned into ice just because um yeah, they have experienced, I definitely see some, yeah, some, some big things, big negative kind of painful things, but it did not turn their heart into ice, no, and that's the beauty of, again, and also with the full card, again, being the zero, like, um, like the zero number, it's all, again, all about reset, so this person, no matter what they may experience they always find the way back to the present moment they always you know when, when we see the full card it looks like a like a bright new day right like this morning sun is coming through and you're just adventurous and so excited for the day this is the full energy i know i'm not i'm not trying to um like teach you guys tarot but um that's very important because this is their energy even if they have experienced certain things, they always understand that tomorrow is a new day. You know, this is, yeah, actually such a beautiful person to have. Like, that's beautiful, right? And they also have a lot of trust in life. You know, that's also something that I'm seeing. Like, even if this person at times has experienced a lot of hardships and it almost felt like hopeless, um, like, ho like there was no hope, this person always trusted you know and something better like as an example if someone was in their position maybe you know they wouldn't have been that optimistic but they were and they still are 
And you know, and this comes a lot of, yeah, strength, as the strength card says. This is someone who's emotionally and mentally very, very strong. This is someone who can work under pressure, who can cope uh, uh, like under pressure. And um, there is something very noble about them. Something very, um, okay, so you know what I um, just saw? You know a knight, um, like in the Middle Ages, knights were so noble and so courageous, right? Um, and yeah, this is their energy. This this person is coming off as a knight. Um, like those um, knights from, you know, those Middle Age movies in which, um, yeah, they're, they're doing those courageous things and... Um, at the same time, they're so, like, at times, I mean, it depends, right, which movie you're watching, <laughs> but um, they they're tend to be very humbled and courageous and noble as well. So this is really this energy of this person. And, um, you know, this is the kind of person that they are very protective. And it doesn't matter who you're, like, um, asking for. We're not looking into the genders. This is like tarot is only energy. And um, this person is very protective. This is how, yeah, this is what I'm seeing here. Let me see, let me see. This person, um, like this pile, this can definitely be your life partner. Like, you know, sometimes people marry someone and then off, I mean, life happens and then at one point they could divorce. With this infinity symbol, the message that I got when I saw it, um, because it's really penetrating, like it's really um, in my energy space. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys like, this is a very long-term marriage like this can be someone you will stay with you know like in this lifetime <sighs> yeah let me get some some tarot so let's see for my dear pile one let's see who's your future spouse let's get some more information about them for pile one, who is your future spouse? Let's see. Who's your future spouse? Pile one. Who's your future spouse? All right. Only one card at a time, please. Okay, we got one. <laughs> All right, the page of cups. For my dear pile one, Oops, too many cards. One card, please, at a time. We got the wheel. Just let the card fall down. Oops. All right, so I'm going to take this card because it was the only one that came upwards. So we got the chariot. <laughs> this reminds me again of the night, like, <laughs> picture that I had. Okay, and let me see. One last card, please. One card, only one card, please. Let's see. Well, okay, I have two here. I guess I'm gonna take them then. So let me first make sure it's all visible. All right, so two cards came through. We got the King of Pentacles. And all right, and the Ace of Swords right here. So, what I'm seeing for you guys as well um, is that, you know, like with the Page of Cups again, um, there is something very young about this person. The Page of Cups is a little bit reminding me of the Fool card, not because of its symbolism, but because of, like, I'm picking up again if someone's, like, someone very young, you know? And again, it doesn't have to be this person's energy. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> this person's age. <laughs> this this is this person's energy, you know. Um, like, like literally, you know, as an example, we have here someone who's kind of represented as someone 
more mature age you know like gray hair and um also with the beard and the king energy is um is a very kind of mature energy so i'm not talking here about their age perhaps but it is their energy something about it maybe this person will make you feel like a child again you know sometimes we yeah it could very well be the case because we also got the full card here and the full card is all about kind of this adventurous um yeah this adventurous person right so maybe this person will make you do certain things um that you may have done in your childhood or again they will bring you out of your comfort zone and you may experience certain things with them that will kind of make you, yeah, feel carefree like a child, you know, and, um, you know, nowadays, I mean, that's just the way, and this, like, in the modern day society we grow up in, you know, that we should become very fast, um, a serious and responsible adult, right, um, but sometimes we really forget this inner child that's still with, like, within us, and, um, it's not like just because we get um, to a certain age or we grow up that, you know, this this child, yeah, this childlike energy is away. We will, it will always be a part of us. And every now and then, I mean, I'm not talking right now about inner child healing. That's another thing. But I'm just talking about, um, like, it's it's good for your soul when you allow yourself to just get lighthearted again, you know, and not to be too serious with life. Of course, life in itself is, and in this world we're living in, is already so serious. And, you know, at sometimes to take some time for yourself and allowing yourself to enjoy life the same way like you were when you were a child is, is really good for you and your health. And um, yeah, and I feel like somehow this person will make you experience that. Again, could be something as um, simple as doing something with them that you used to do when you were, you know, very young. Or maybe you will go to a certain place you went to when you were ch a child with your family. Or it could be anything, you know. As an example, I love watching um, cartoons from my childhood. And this is one of the most relaxing and one like one of the best um kind of like let's say evening routines um that i like to do and yeah it, it's kind of this energy you know it's a very nice energy here now when it comes to um you guys coming in contact or um being with each other i feel like or what i see is that um when you are with this person it kind of gonna feel like like why didn't you come sooner into my life or i wish i would have met you sooner but there's this advice for you to not concentrate too much on that because everything came or everything will align at the right time and of course we sometimes feel like if certain things came sooner i mean we would have we would have more of them right but you need to understand that as well with the wheel being here everything comes in the right order and regardless if you have already met this person or not they will like your union will come at the right time that's really what i'm feeling as well now let me see, um, this person is also someone who's very family oriented, so, um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, so this person can either have, um, you know, a family of their own, or if that's not the case, then as an example, this is something they would like to, to have one day, or just in general, family plays a big part of in their life, you know their parents, their siblings, you know, if they have uh, some, and even pets, they just love sharing the love that they have within us, you know, if it's just as simple as having a pet, sharing the love you have with a pet, you know, that's already so healing, pets can be very, very healing to human beings, like animals in general, and this is someone who, um, 
like family or this dynamic, this home dynamic is very, very, very important for them. So this is definitely someone, my dear, I feel like um, is very serious. It's very serious when it comes to marriage. You know, they will not just marry anyone. They need to make sure that, um, that you are someone that they, yeah, that they can actually create this life with or in just in general, you know. That's really what I'm seeing here. Also, they will, like when it comes to the mental area of your connection, they will really stimulate you on a mental level. So um, if some of you guys really get um, attracted towards people who you can also connect um, in the mind, like on the mind level with, okay? Because a lot of people always go with the body, right? And of course the body also has, you know, it's so beautiful. But with this person, it's also about the mind. You will also connect on, yeah, on this level, which is more raw than, um, let's say, sexual attraction or like body-based attraction. Um, really connecting on a mental level, like, you know, that's something not a lot of people experience in their lifetime, even in friendships. But that's what I'm seeing, yeah. Oh, yeah, let me see. For some of you guys, there could be something... Um, okay, that's very contradicting energy, but that's, that's what I heard. There is so either something very, very, very similar between you guys or something very, very different like oh my goodness that's what what kind of message is that but yeah that's just that's what i heard that's weird why is this message coming through either something very very similar or something very very different i never hmm. if some of you guys have already met this person um and this message resonates with you please feel free to let me know in the comment section below because that's very interesting you know that's just that's the complete opposite in a way when i said it it felt right it felt like yes of course you know it wasn't like um like what this message doesn't make sense no when i said it and when i heard it I heard it in a way that it made like it made absolute like perfect sense. So, so let me know for those of you guys who already know what this is about, what it is, because I'm very curious. Like that's very interesting. Yeah. So, my dear pal one, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Um, and if you have anything you would like to share, feel free to do so. If you're interested in a personal reading, then you can, of course, feel free to email me. And also, I will soon become active on Instagram. So if you would like to connect with me there as well, you can feel free to do so. My Instagram link is down in the description box. But yeah, my dear pal one, take care. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. So what we're gonna do, my dear, is First, it will get you one or two major arcanas, which will represent, yeah, the archetype of your future spouse currently. And yeah, then we will look into some more information with more tarot cards. So let's see, for my dear pile two, let's look into the major arcanas, which represent your future spouse. Let's see, out of the 22 major arcanas, which ones represent your future spouse? For pal 2, please, for pal 2, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? All right. So let's see. Let's see for you guys, for pal 2. Okay. So we got the high priestess right there. And let's get you another card. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's like, okay, we got the magician and we got the high priestess, that's, oh, um, the high priestess, 
like the magician is the first card um is the i'm sorry is the number one the first card is the fool card but he represents the number one and the high priestess is the following card which represents the like the um number two and for me um this is just the way i like to see certain cards and when it comes to the magician and the high priestess like i see those two as counterparts you know the same way the empress and the emperor energy works for me with um with the magician and the high priestess they are they have this yeah this more so spiritual energy to them but they're also the like the counterparts for me there's just something about it whenever i see them together um it's a like it's a big thing okay and this is me reading the cards so this is a big thing for me right now that they came through because your future spouse um like this is a very powerful individual and um looking into this person's soul this is an old soul like your future spouse is an old soul and um I feel like there is so much wisdom and so much experience um, within them. No matter who they are, no matter how or which identity they have adapted um, through their experiences in life, through the their background and you know all the kind of more material things, it doesn't matter. In their core, they are a very um, very powerful yeah person in fact this can be someone who's who's even um if we look into their energy like a master you know a very powerful person and i feel like this person definitely now that they're reincarnated into this lifetime they did not come here just to yeah just to live you know an ordinary like okay ordinary life you know um and when i say that i mean and again what does that mean i mean ordinary it's in you know the eyes of like the person who you know looks at it but what i mean with that is that um they just didn't come here to go to school get a job get married get a house grandchildren and then retirement and then you know die this is not what i am picking up on this is someone like okay some of you guys the, the, like people watching this some of you i'm just gonna say it because um no i know some people um believe in that others don't so take it how it resonates but you guys could be twin flames you guys could be very significant soulmates romantic soulmates to each other like this can be your significant soulmate that you're supposed to well that you um that's very important in your life who will have a great influence on your life okay and i feel like you guys coming together you are supposed to do something you know sometimes when two powerful souls come together they can look at that like they can shake things up right they can yeah influence a lot and look at that the next card is the sun card that's the card that you um picked right and you guys came here together like you are meant to um, meet you guys okay like i want to be honest this is like like one person like as an example i was supposed to take two cards which will represent their archetype right them but one of these cards is you and one of them is them okay so um it's not like as an example in part like in pile one in which both cards were representing your future spouse no one of these cards is in presenting you and the other is for your future spouse so um a lot of you guys watching you definitely are very in tune with your spirituality um spirituality religion you know take it how it resonates but to the more like to the divine and we can always connect with the divine in many different ways right in many different um like names even and what i'm seeing is that you guys came together to definitely um 
like you have a purpose your union has a purpose and i'm wondering whether you guys are actually aware of it or not you know but there is like there is a bigger picture here so yeah so you your future spouse my dear um this is someone first of all who no matter what they're doing um they're very like skilled and very sure you know this is like like whatever they um put their energy to really grows as an example if they have a job um and a career that they're doing it's really flourishing because this is just you know sometimes we meet certain people that are just um like it just feels like things always work out for them or um they just know they just know how to go about things to work out and um you know it almost feels like luck is on their side although there is not a lot of luck involved in here it's more so their energy and um their potential you know I'm also hearing, um, yeah, their karma. That's also something I'm hearing. Mm. Yeah. So this person, no matter whether they are actually in tune with that, whether they are actually, let's say, aware of their spiritual nature, okay? Like, as an example, this could be someone who's so much in the, like, logical mind and the practical world in which they don't even have any place or they don't even believe in spirituality but still it's it's very deep within us and it comes through it will come through eventually this person will have a spiritual awakening it's really look at that they will have the tower moment the tower moment will eventually come whether this person wants or not because this is something they're supposed to experience but it's for the better, you know, with the sun. It, it's for the better right there. And for some, it could, like, the tower moment could li literally be you. You know, maybe you will um, you will meet this person um, or influence them in a way that you will kind of expose them to, to their true nature and make them understand that there is more to life than meets the eye. This could be one thing. Or, of course, for others, this can also literally be someone who's already spiritual um although i feel like you are more so the spiritual person you are more spiritual than them but that doesn't mean that um the power like it's in everyone right but they came here with a purpose that is somehow involved with um with their potential yeah like the magician and the high priestess these are like even if one of those cards will come through in a tarot reading or a tarot spread you know that would already be very intense but then we have them both coming through out of like all the cards together you know that's a major thing right there let me see i feel like you guys are also old souls you know not only them you're also very like a lot of wisdom within you but it goes deeper it's not only about you in this lifetime your soul um yeah again old soul i'm hearing old soul right there yeah mm. it doesn't matter your age even if someone watching this um is young you know age has nothing to do with um with being wise life makes you wise not your age that's what i'm seeing here yeah that's that's very interesting i don't know why i feel like getting you one more major arcana let me get you another one i, f I feel drawn to do so so let's see for my dear pile two um i just heard some of you guys could have been drawn to pal one as well if this is the case then feel free to watch it so for my dear pile two who will you marry who's your future spouse for my dear pile two please let the card fall down for the people who have chosen the sun card pal to you oh it came through again okay so it was meant to come through all right and we got the justice card yeah 
You see, justice, what a strong word. You guys came here together to somehow bring justice down to earth. I mean, it's no secret that a lot of things are are not really working out for us as a race and um, also looking into certain aspects when it comes to, you know, the world. And it really, like right now, something the world needs are great leaders, you know, leaders which will take this world to, um, yeah, to, like, who will lead the right path and who will make us go ahead, right? And who will bring the solutions. There's so many leaders nowadays, but who is really bringing good solutions for not only us, but for every species in this world, you know, for Mama Earth. And you guys definitely came here to somehow bring justice or make people aware. As an example, you two coming together create or and um, sharing spirituality, your experience with each other, um, or you you creating something, an organization or or just in general, something in which you can um, reach people. Or somehow you can bring justice and balance, you know. And right now maybe you're watching this and you're saying, well, I mean, I am me. Like, what can I do? Or what can two people do? But first of all, um, if every great person would have thought that way, well, no one could, you know, make great things. So don't talk small upon yourself. And it's not only that. You know, if you could only touch one person, if you could only bring balance to one person's life or just to a very small, let's, let's say, piece um, in this world, such as, let's say, like you don't need to... Like you don't need to rescue the world, but... If you only rescue or help one soul, that's already enough because this soul can then help someone else. And if you all would help each other, what world would we live in? Definitely a better one that we're living in right now, right? So yeah, you guys, um, there is a lot on your shoulders, but not in a bad way. This is something you you sub subscribe to you okay this is something you before you reincarnated you chose to at this particular time um in history to come here because never ever or well we're definitely living in a time where we need people okay we need people who will who want to help because or who want to bring balance because there is so much imbalance right there you know but let's look a little bit more into that let's see my dear you guys are very spiritual maybe for some if you even feel like you would like to help people or you would like to connect with people worldwide or um your spiritual um journey is becoming more and more important okay but let's see. For my dear pile two, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Who will you guys marry? Who's your future spouse? Pile two, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? One last shuffle. For the people who have chosen the sun card, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Oops, okay. So let's see. Who is your future spouse? Who will you marry? All right, so I'm gonna take them both. We got the chariot, we got the knight of pentacles. We got the hanged man. Let's see. Okay. Look at that. 
Yeah, the Three of Cups. All right. For pal one, I got five, so I will get you guys five as well. Although I was originally going with only four. So let's see for my dear pile two. For pal two, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Pal two, who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? One card, please. Okay. Oops. Okay, one card fell. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, you guys. We got the full card. All right, let me make sure everything is looking straight there okay all right so my dear pile two who will you marry who's yeah look at that there's the world the world is coming through again um yeah you guys like your like your life purpose um like you're light workers. This is how I would describe it. You are light workers and your future spouses as well. So you two guys coming together, you came here to to make a difference. Whether it be to raise the consciousness, where like raise awareness, work against some kind of injustice, or maybe even just do something small um and just helping one person you know as an example um it doesn't matter if right now only one person is watching this or a million the numbers are not important all there is you know what is important is that if only one person is watching this right now and this will help them for me that's already enough you know and that's also kind of the energy for you guys that it doesn't matter how big or how small you will help as long as you help that's that's important <sighs> okay okay so you will definitely like for some of you guys you will create a community for yourselves as well now you are definitely meant to connect with a lot of people also with your future spouse and um well your future spouse first of all is someone who's very um like i feel like they will ground you you know all of this person yeah they're more so grounded than you are and they will ground you and this is something which will be very important for you with the knight of pentacles being here but it's not only that, you know, this person, um, they have definitely created something for themselves um, or they are right now in the, um, if they haven't already, in the making of it, you know, of creating something for themselves, something, um, something comfortable so they can live comfortable so um, they can create a life that they want or so they can actually, yeah, be able to get whatever it is that yeah, they would like to get or have in their in their life so money is definitely important but not in a way that it would be the only thing that's not the energy especially with the night being here this person knows that material things are important in life but it's not like that's all that matters no not with the magician card for sure so what i'm seeing for you my dear is that but this person in general, you know, this is a very successful, like, success-oriented individual. In everything that they touch, they need to make sure that um, they can make it blossom to the best way possible. So as an example, if they are in a relationship, they want it to be as harmonious or as successful as possible. Um, and it's not like in a toxic way that this person wants to be a perfection, like wants to do everything perfect. No, that's not what I mean. They just always want to bring out the best possible um, outcome, you know. So as an example, when they do something work related, they want to be their best there. They want to perform their best. If they're going to be a spouse, they want to be the best spouse they could possibly be. It doesn't mean that they will be perfect because there is no, no such thing as perfect. 
but they will still still try to um, to be a good partner or to be a good spouse or to be a good um, like let's say if they work for someone they want to um, to 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 work great or um, if they're their own boss they want to be a great boss you know it doesn't matter they just always want to be the best they can be and this is actually such a beautiful yeah you know mindset to have to always want to do the best we can right and this is this is their energy yeah so what i'm also getting my dear is that yeah hmm. so this person being with them somehow will change um, your perspective when it comes to life as an example um let me see okay this is like um <laughs> This is such a random example and I'm not saying that this is going to be the case for you but it just I just got this example and I feel like it it's a great to explain myself. So let's just assume you you have some kind of assumptions towards a certain group of people because you feel like oh these people are are that way or this way because either they're um, advertised that way or just because these are like stereotypes and then you will meet this person and they are kind of um, in this group and then you they will change your perspective you know change the way you see um, because you will get this revelation that wow like the whole time I thought that way but in actuality um, it wasn't the case so let me give you an example. This is just an example. Let's say this person um, is well off. And someone watching this feels like every person who who has money either has somehow like stolen it or someone's blood is on their money, you know, or they have to somehow have done something really bad in order to come, you know, to that much money. Or, you know, anything. That's just an example. But then you will meet this person, you will understand, no, there are actually great people. And this person has done so much, like it's, it was their work and it was their you know, blood, sweat and tears they have, they have created for themselves and they're doing such great things with their resources, right? So there's some kind of change in perception like that in some way. This is just an example, but in some way, somehow they will change how you look on like on something yeah mm. let me see let me see this is someone as well um my dear who if some of you guys have been in relationships in which you didn't really like simply said you you weren't happy just because we are in a relationship doesn't mean that we're happy right or we are in a happy relationship there is like a lot um that needs to somehow be aligned in order for us to be happy you know right so it's not necessarily just because you are in a relationship you are enjoying it there but with this person um with the three of cups being here the Three of Cups is the card of joy, you know, of celebration, of happiness, or, you know, of, of being surrounded by people we really admire and who uplift us. A really great energy towards a great community. So I feel like um, you, you will actually meet um, people who are related to them, either family or maybe even friends or, you know, somehow in their environment you will find people who you will really click with like you will match with that's what i mean who you will match with and um you will be really thankful for that you know people who you will admire you will um you will love and i feel like some of you guys maybe feel like right now you don't really have a lot of like genuine people around or people that you really like match with um, but somehow this person will connect you towards a community 
that's gonna be like it's gonna be your thing you know it's gonna be yeah like kind of your tribe that's what i'm hearing that's what i'm seeing yeah someone's favorite color could be yellow blue or green i'm seeing i'm also hearing lavender for some reason yeah so my dear pal too please feel free to let me know yeah how this resonates with you guys or how you feel about it and if you would like to get a personal reading with me you can also feel free to email me and yeah my dear also if you would like to connect with me even more soon i will become um yeah more active on instagram and if you would like to connect with me as well there my instagram account is down in the description box and yeah i invite you there as well but yeah, my dear pal too, take care. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. So let's start with your reading. What I'm gonna do first, my dear pal three, is that I will get you two tarot cards, uh, which will represent your future spouse's kind of archetype. And I chose only major arcanas for that. So we're gonna look into, yeah, which, archetypes represent your future spouse so let's see who will you marry who's your future spouse which major arcanas symbolize represent your future spouse let's see who will you marry my dear who's your future spouse right now as we speak which cards represent your future spouse right now in this time which cards which archetypes are they in let's see what major arcanas are they right now in let's see one last shuffle what is right now the archetype of your future spouse okay let's see my dear okay we got two cards so oh my goodness that's wow all right that's amazing we got the sun card and this the star wow oh my goodness that's let me put them right there okay so pile three um <laughs> the star and the sun so first of all, um, look at how similar the cards are in the illustration. Um, like in both cards, you see something yellow shining through in the like upper um, part of the card, right? Here we have this very big star and there we have the sun shining through. So what I'm seeing is that, okay, for sure, first of all, your future spouse um they have the potential to make it big in life and what i'm seeing is that right now things are definitely aligning for this person no matter when you are watching this the present moment you are watching this video you, like the life of your future spouse is definitely working out you know a lot of things are aligning they're getting the fruits of their labor you know they're getting opportunities options coming through into their life and it just feels like everything is that blossoming you know like um you know sometimes we have this period in our life which things are just working out yep this is exactly what i'm seeing here in fact first of all um okay this is a very random message but your future spouse is very attractive very very attractive i did not get um and like and when i say this i mean like you will perceive them as very very attractive now um honestly speaking with the star being here it will not only be you you know your future spouse will in general be a very like attractive person because look at that they're shining through very sh like bright amongst all those stars right and they're in the center they're the biggest one and they also have a different color right but from the other so they're yeah very like they're coming through as the the real deal kind of thing and um so what i'm seeing my dear is that 
Yeah, for sure. So your future spouse, they are very attractive. And again, other people definitely perceive them like that as well. So you will not be the only one who will think that way. And I feel like it's also their body. I mean, yeah, definitely their body. It's very interesting in both these cards. We have like we have two human beings coming through and both are naked, right? So yeah, I feel like they're gonna like you're gonna really be attracted towards their their naked body. But with the star being here, this person has definitely um this like very charismatic charismatic is that the word i think so right that's the english word um they're very charismatic and they just attract other people like this can literally be someone who goes somewhere and um they catch up a lot of people's attentions you know like um like they get attention or um in some way they just um yeah people notice them but it's in a good way, for sure, you know, with those two hearts being here, um, they're being noticed because they're very noticeable, whether because the way they come through, you know, their energy, their vibe, um, the way they present themselves, you know, very put together, or just, you know, their attraction, like, their, I'm sorry, their attractiveness, very simple set, you know. It could even be the case for some of you guys that this person somehow has some kind of following because the star card um, can symbolize someone who who is popular, you know, well known. Yes, sometimes even famous to some extent, right? So someone, I mean, just look at this illustration, someone who's shining through, you know, and in our modern day world, it can look very different, right? It could, as an example, mean maybe they have some kind of following on social media or um, if it's not a digital thing, just in general, um, maybe the community that they're from, people really respect them or somehow they're known for something. Um, so yeah, but that's definitely a message that's coming through. I feel like this person was either in a job or in a relationship which somehow well um speaking from how i see those things um i would probably maybe a little bit disagree but that's the message that i um heard that they were either in a relationship or in some kind of like job or career which was a waste now why do I say I disagree with that? Because I personally feel every single experience we make in life is an experience. It's not wasted, right? But I just heard that. So I have, I'm just the messenger here. So I have to deliver it the way it comes through. But maybe in this person's eyes, yeah, it's probably how they view it they view this experience as a waste, you know, either because it took a lot of energy from them or a lot of time, right? As an example, sometimes we we may go for a job or as like we may study um, maybe even a few years in university and then we feel like, no, it's not ours. And then we may think that it's a waste, but in reality, it definitely isn't, right? Um, like I can definitely ex like talk here out of my own experience as well, but it's just the way they perceive it, you know, or maybe even how society perceives it, you know, society would perceive maybe someone dropping out of college or um, someone being in a relationship which they for some reason then end as maybe failure or a waste of time, but if this person maybe and that's why i'm saying it because that's what i'm feeling um if this person would look at it at a bigger picture they wouldn't be the person they are right now if, it, if that thing didn't happen um because it brought a lot of lessons and growth towards their life and the last thing or the least thing we can do when we um 
go through something is at least to find one thing that gives 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 it a purpose because otherwise you know it could affect us on a very like negative way if we feel like something happened without a purpose like as an example we um we wasted our time or we suffered you know without any reason um and i feel like this person doesn't like they don't see the bigger picture yet they just feel like um like it was a waste and that's it but if they would really look at it they would understand that that's not the case in fact as an example if this was a career yes i may have put a lot of energy into this career but it led me towards where i am right now and where i am supposed to be when it is career wise i left one thing to be guided towards the right thing or if this is a person like a past relationship um and they may think like it was a waste it wasn't because this relationship taught them a lot about what kind of relationship they want and who they want to be with you know there's always something um we can hold on to and we can give a meaning towards and that's very important because otherwise we may think that negative things that happened happened without any kind of like without anything we can take from it and sometimes a small like even a small reason can give it like give us a lot of strength you know and that's my point that's what i mean so let me see this person is also guided for sure this person has a spirit team and definitely see this coming through who's guiding them but like i'm not getting any message regarding whether this person is aware of it or not that's not what's coming through here so that's not what i can talk about um but regardless of that they still have and i feel like the spirit team um is leading them right now towards the path that is leading them towards you and again i heard that whatever they went through even if it's something they think is wasted it's not wasted in fact if they wouldn't have ended it it would like they would never um uh, meet you they would have never ever meet, met you or they will not meet you you know whether they, take it how it resonates some of you guys could have already met this person for others maybe you didn't right and that's why i mean nothing is wasted because yeah no matter what you know experience we have in life it always shapes us into the person we are right now and in this case um it's somehow also yeah you know influence like it's it's also influencing um uh, your relationship but in a good way so as an example if this person at some point was um not very serious about relationships let's say and, and they were in this relationship and then they experienced something and then they get like they got crystal clear about what kind of relationship they want and from then on they started to approach relationships very differently you know there is this element of growth in here no matter what this is really about they've done the growth that comes with it and it will influence um your guys's relationship in a really good way so it was something they had to go through in order to like um grow as an individual now this person is definitely very confident this person could even know that um that they are attractive as an example um or like th their vibe it just shines through you know like if it's not their ex like their um appearance although i definitely feel it's also their appearance um but it could even just be their vibe but definitely both yeah definitely both but also their vibe you know it just shines through this is the kind of person um like it really reminds me of the um especially with the sun card as well of the um the manipura chakra you know um the solar plexus chakra also with this shining energy this yellowy energy um this is someone who is very confident someone strong-willed you know someone who um 
who's not scared to show themselves, you know, to share their opinions, their um, their ideas, you know, like they go about their um, like about the things they want to go to have or to achieve, you know, fearlessly in a way as well. Very confident, also bold in many uh, in in some way even. Just someone who is a go-getter, someone is a, who is a maker, um, someone who, when it comes to earthy things, you know, like earthy matters, um, they're really good in those things. You know, let's say when it comes to very practical things um, or things that are connected to, let's say, the matrix, um, the system, you know, they can really, like... Like they can, um, like they know how to go about it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Yeah, very grounded person as well. This person could be, um, first of all, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also Fire, Sun, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, I'm getting, um, yeah, Aquarius as well. But I'm also hearing Libra. But that's just their energy, right? So we're looking into that right now. Let me see, let me see. Another thing that I'm seeing is that for some of you guys, um, yeah, like, this can be the person that you will um, start a family with. Like there are, with the Sun card especially, um, like you can start a family with them. Like I, for a lot of you guys, I see... This will be um, the parent, like of your child, you know, like um, like one obviously one parent, right? So either the father or the mother. Um, yeah, there is like because it's a very fertile energy. You guys um, will be a very fertile couple, and it doesn't necessarily have to be only when it comes to like. Um, you know, fertile is normally something we may be associated with, like, birth, right? Or getting children. But fertility is so much more, you know, it's it's this abundance. is this, um, like, kind of creating, you know, the, the act of creation. So you guys, in general, you could be very, um, like, a lot of potential for you guys to create. You know, again, could be family, but could also be um, maybe a business together or um, projects, certain dreams that you guys would like to, yeah, um, experience with each other. It could be a lot of things. It's just, it's this creation energy, you know, that I'm seeing coming through here as well. And you guys, um, your future spouse is going to have a very healing um presence as well they're going to be coming off as a very healing towards you um maybe because yeah it's it's their energy their energy is going to be very healing um but it's also connected towards either them being a great listener or a great speaker so it could also be the case that um they will come off as very healing because you will know that, you know, they will always be there to listen to you uh, and advise you and to help you or because their words, you know, they're very healing in some type of way. That's definitely something that's coming through here. I mean, yeah, also the star card is literally, um, it can also signify healing. So yeah, for sure. Mm. But let's get you a little bit more. Let's get you more, yeah, information regarding your future spouse. Let's see for you, pal three. Who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? Some of you guys could have also been drawn to pal one. For my dear pile three. Oops, the cards fell. So let's see, for my dear pile three. Who will you marry? Who will, who's your future spouse? For 
for pile three for will you marry this your future spouse one last shuffle who will you marry who's your future spouse all right that's enough so let's see let's see you guys what's that yeah all right the six of cups mm -hmm. the six of wands <laughs> All right, let's get you some more cards. Yeah, the Six of Wands, by the way, is really... Um, where's the card? It, it, it's for some, it's definitely connected with the, the star card, for sure. But let's see, for my dear pile three, we got the Two of Swords. Oops. Okay, um, I'm going to take those two cards here. Let's see, let's see. Look at that. The sun card came through again. <laughs> and that's definitely confirmation. And we got the chariot. I believe the chariot card came through in like every single pile. <laughs> so let me make sure everything looks good. All right. Okay. So my dear pile three, first of all, um, what I'm hearing is that this is going to be someone who will, um, who will be very emotionally fulfilling for you. So, you know, sometimes, I think I've said this also in pile two, you know, sometimes we like... Like just because we're necess like in a relationship, okay, just because you are in a relationship doesn't mean that you're first of all happy and that you're yeah you're you're being loved. <laughs> that's not I mean, no, that's not what necessarily needs to like um come out of it. You know, there are a lot of people who are in relationships in which they are not happy. But um, with this here, okay, with, with you guys, your future spouse is going to be very emotionally um, fulfilling for you. And it's very interesting because, you know, I've just said that this example um, with like some people are in relationships which aren't really that ideal for them or not making them happy maybe you have experience for some because i know maybe someone is watching this who hasn't not even like you weren't in a relationship at all right but for those i feel like someone this message is for someone very specific out there someone was in a relationship um someone watching this and it wasn't fulfilling so this is why this is also coming through so strongly this is kind of a confirmation for someone watching but it's not only that, um, maybe there's even this mirroring energy here, right? Because I said that in the beginning, um, they maybe felt like they've wasted their energy with something. Maybe you're watching this and you also feel like that. You feel like you've wasted something, um, either career or, or yeah, maybe even relationship. With the Six of Cups being here, what I'm seeing, you guys, is that... Um, yeah, what I'm seeing is that your future spouse, for some of you guys, could even be a soulmate. The Six of Cups doesn't give me um, this impression always, although it stands for that, like for soulmates per se, but... I don't get this message very often when this card comes through. But right now, this card is literally giving me only this message. Like this card came here, came through only for that. Only for that, um, like for me to pick up on the fact that I feel like this will be someone who will feel like a soulmate. In fact, not only that, you know, you see, um, there is this, like, this, this man, right? You can see here, 
he was um, he was a small boy and then this dog was also only a puppy and now both of them grew up right so I feel like you are also gonna feel like you know this person um, like even if you've met them like you've never met them and then you will meet them and there were no like um, like for some they could somehow be related towards your past or um, towards your childhood maybe someone you already know for some not for everyone though but even if this is a complete new person still um, they're gonna be very familiar you know they're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel like you know them yeah that's that's also a message I'm getting here now for some of you guys it could be the case that um, that you see a lot of repeating numbers right now with the 66 coming through I don't know yeah I, I'm, I'm getting this message here some of you guys could be right now even seeing repeating numbers or yeah hmm. now with the six of wands again I said told you um, this is really connecting to the star card for me your person definitely is admired by other people either because of something they've done or something they've achieved okay um maybe just because they look admirable um or desirable whatever this is supposed to mean i'm just the messenger here right so i'm not saying whether this is good or bad i'm just saying what i'm hearing what i'm picking up on but this is what i'm getting they are desirable and honestly speaking i feel like um it is some it like for some it could be because of the way they look again i'm not saying that this is something which is right or whatever but yeah hmm. people are impressionable yeah with the two of swords being here this is definitely um connecting to this kind of thing that they had in their life in the past and they left and i feel like they were really indecisive like as a as an example if you talk with this person about their life and then they will talk you through um this thing that you know that they feel like they have wasted time on whether a relationship or a career or just something um they will also tell you that although they know that um, they need to, like it wasn't good for them, it still took them some time to reflect on it because they were a little bit indecisive. As an example, if this was a career, they weren't sure whether they're making the right decision, whether they will find a better you know career, or if they thought about dropping out of. Um, as an example university or college whether it was actually the right thing and whether they will not maybe regret it one day you know so it was something which was very um uncertain and they were they were quite like um yeah indecisive about it but they went definitely like they did the right thing uh, without any his like without any doubt um but it was difficult right very often we have to maybe leave someone or leave something or we f we're, f we're get like we're being called to do something um but at the end of the day we may also be very uncertain right because we don't know the future and that's why a lot of people are anxious because we're scared of the uncertain of the uncertain future or whether we do something drastically whether it, it is the right decision or not but they were courageous enough surprise surprise the sun card coming through here twice and although the strength card is perhaps more so this very brave courageous energy the sun is really giving me right now those um yeah those 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 energies maybe because it really connected me to the manipura chakra and um it's very yeah for me it's a very strong-willed energy and people who are strong willed they also need to have a certain level of courage to go about certain things they're very sure about right 
or they want to achieve. Um, it, there's also always some risk taking, um, perhaps attached to certain goals that we want to have in life, right? It's not always, I mean, it's, it's um, like, it's almost never an easy path. So yeah. Let me see. Someone could also be tanned here. I'm hearing. Yeah. Someone watching this either is tanned or your future spouse is going to be tanned. Hmm. There's something about tanning here. Or about um, someone loving to be in the sun. Maybe someone even lives in warmer climates. Or maybe you guys will meet each other at a very sunny place. Um, or like summertime, holiday, something like that. Take it how it resonates though. Yeah. What I'm also seeing is that um, I feel like when you guys like get serious about each other things will really move fast for you like let's say you guys become a couple and you know that you really would like to share yeah your lives with each other things are gonna really like uh, speed up from there you know you may very fast um become serious and then very fast get official and then you know um do certain ceremonies which are um, in your culture, like get, and then get married, you know, and so on. Some people watching, um, I feel like either rituals or ceremonies, um, something like that when you guys, like something very specific that's um, that's that has something to do with where you are from. Like very, like, how should I say it? Um, like as an example, um, in some places, um, there is like one ceremony to get married is like henna, right? Like either an evening or something related to henna. Like this is a very random message, but that's what I'm seeing here. Or just in general, you know, you you guys will very fast get married or introduce each other to each other's families. You know, once you are really sure about each other, things are going to move very fast. That's what I'm feeling, yeah. So my dear pile three, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And if it resonated, please let me know. I'm always so happy when you guys, yeah, when you say that it resonates with you it, it really makes me happy and also I'm so thankful you guys that you allow me to yeah connect with you energetically and yeah if you liked it make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't if you would like to get a personal reading or you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading you can also feel free to email me and also my dear soon I will hopefully get a little bit more active on Instagram so if you would like to connect with me there as well you can also feel free to email, uh, not email me, to follow me there. My, yeah, my Instagram account is down in the description box as well. But yeah, my dear panel three, take care.